Hello, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a new Pan That Palette introduction. I am very, very excited for this. If you did not see, I did do Pan That Palette in 2018 and 2019, and I do have playlists on that. I also have Project Pan playlist if you are interested in seeing those. In 2018 and 2019, I had picked palettes that definitely were harder to pan. My goal was to hit pan on them and not to finish the palettes. However, this year I am changing it up and I have decided that I want to try to completely finish a palette. Um, definitely for me, this is a task. I previously work on a lot of projects where I'm trying to hit pan on eyeshadows, but I haven't actually finished an eyeshadow palette in a while. Back in the day when I didn't have that much makeup, I had a bunch of, you know, wet and wild trios and whatnot, and I would completely finish those on a regular basis, but I didn't own as much eyeshadow as I do now. Therefore, it has been more difficult, but I decided you know what, this year I wanna to try to do it, so let's just get into it. I went back and forth a lot on what palette to pick, and I finally decided on this, the Bad Habit Artistry palette. Now, I picked this for several reasons. One, that it is one of my older palettes. I don't have a lot of old makeup because I did a huge declutter in 2016 and 2017 of very, very old makeup. Therefore, this was purchased in 2017. I don't have anything really older than that in my collection. Another reason is that this is a pretty soft formula. Um, and also the amount of product in here is a total of 0.42 ounces. Um, I looked at a bunch of my palettes and looked at how much product is in there. That seems to be about standard, but some palettes definitely have more like 0.5 for the total. But I think also the formula. Another palette that I strongly considered for several months to be my pen that palette was the Natasha Denona Mini Nude. And the reason I decided against it is because that formula is so tightly pressed. I worked on that eyeshadow palette for a good three to four months and I couldn't even hit pan on one eyeshadow. Also, that is a palette that I bought this year in 2019. Therefore, I didn't wanna pick something that new. Therefore, I went with this. And let me show you where I am now because I do already have two pans. That was the other reason I chose this palette. I have a pan on this one and this one. And this was in my Pie Project Pan, if you guys have been watching that, and I was trying to hit pan on the shade Dorsay. From hitting pan on these two shades, it didn't really take that much use to hit pan compared to like a Too Faced or a Tarte eyeshadow, just because it is so soft. Um, therefore, I'm hoping I could finish it. However, I mean, I'm telling you, it's gonna be a task because there are 12 eyeshadows. Therefore, to finish this palette, I would have to finish one eyeshadow per month. I don't know that I can do it. I really, really wanna try. Um, another reason that I wanted to pick this palette is because there are a lot more shimmers than mattes. Um, I've noticed that it's a little bit easier to hit pan on a shimmer, at least for me, because I like a very intense, a metallic shimmery lid. Therefore, I tend to use more product than I do in the crease. For the first month, I'm just gonna kind of work on whatever I want and see how it goes. Um, I would like to work on this matte though, because I do have a pan on that one. You know, this is probably one that I want to try to finish first. I wanna also work on this taupey shade. I really like this one. You know, often in my Pan That palettes, if there's a dark brown, I will try to use it in my brows. But this color, Tuscany, it's very warm toned. Therefore, I don't think that that's gonna work. Another common thing I do with my Pan That palettes is if there's a cream shade, I use that over all over the lid to set my eyeshadow primer. This, this palette doesn't have that either, which I'm totally fine with because I have a lot of other palettes, but as far as using it up, it would have been easier if there was a matte cream color, but it's fine. Um, I will say another reason I did pick this is because this brand does not even exist anymore. And I know a lot of people kind of have mixed feelings on some of these dupe palettes. This one I didn't feel that bad about because at the time they released this, <laughs> the original Anastasia Mario palette was no longer in existence anyway. Therefore, I didn't think it was a huge deal because it's not like they were stealing sales from Anastasia, but again, you know, they are taking someone else's idea. Anyway, that is not about this. This brand doesn't even exist anymore. And this is the only like dupe type palette that I have, but I do like the quality of it and I do like the colors. 
I talked about previously on my channel that I did have the original Anastasia Mario palette. And the reason I bought this is that I accidentally destroyed mine trying to depot it. That was a huge mistake. I felt like an idiot. Therefore, when I saw that this existed, I think this was only $12 anyway, I thought, you know what? I ruined my palette. I can't buy it again. I'm going to get this. And I really do enjoy this. Um, but yeah, this is what I want to work on. I don't know, guys. I don't know that I can finish this. Um, I'm a little concerned. But I want to try, do my best. I mean, maybe I can at least finish half of it. Who knows? Something like that. But yeah, two pans already, which is good. But I think we'll just kind of have to see, you know, where this takes Alrighty, me. Alrighty, that is it for this intro. I am very, very excited. I'm excited to do something a little bit different. It's going to be more challenging for sure. If you're interested, you can check out my Pan That Palette for 2018, 2019, and my Project Pan playlist. I will be starting a new Pan That Palette playlist for the year, and I'm also going to start a new Project Pan playlist just so that there aren't too many in my old playlist. That is it, and thank you for watching.